in the Sunday school day. Yeah, only church, new beginning, church, wow, 35,000, pastor leaving. Yeah, you made bridges. So don't get it on. Why? She got some long hair this morning. Longer hair this morning. Amen. I would love, love the love pastor. Amen. Now, the Sunday school lesson this morning is talking about a, a, a book plant of blood. Uh, Let's text Exodus 7, 14 to 20, 24, Revelation scriptures, Exodus 7, 1 through 13, 8, 1 through 32, Revelation 16 through, I mean 16, 3, and through 3 to 7, place of Egypt. Golden text, thus says the Lord, and this thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Behold, I was met with the, I, I was met. Right. I will smite with the rod that is in my hand upon the waters which are in the river, and thou shalt be turned to the S7 and 17. In fact, note that Pharaoh would not let the use And God struck all the waters of Egypt, turning them into blood. To understand the principle. principle. To understand that the Lord is in the business of glorifying Himself, the champion and defender of His covenant people. And I like the uh, verse 16 like that in the scripture. This text is talking about, and thou shalt say unto them, The Lord God of the Hebrew hath sent me unto thee, saying, Let my people go. That Thou may serve me in the wilderness, and behold, hitherto thou wouldest not hear. And I, I underline, uh, Baptist Dawkins, the word wilderness, because when we in the wilderness, we all know that God is there with us too. And that's, a, that's what I like about that. Let my people go that they may serve me in the wilderness. And so when you feel like you're in the wilderness of down to your last dime, keep on serving God. You're in the wilderness of loneliness, keep on serving God. The, the, uh, the, the, the wilderness hopefulness, keep serving God because he dealt with the, uh, he dealt with you. He was there uh, 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 with his people. He'd be there with you. And so if God don't have no respect to person, wherever you are in life, that make you feel sorrowful, God is there with you. That's your willingness. And, and, and that's what I like about that. So next time, I got, next time I, I'm down, I need to encourage myself. I need to know that God is there with me in, in, in that spot. In that spot. And so we, we got to know, like we, I think we said last Sunday, he's there when we're in the valleys and the shadows of death. And I think for God with me, he all with us. That's all we, that's what we got to know. That God is with us in, 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 uh, in the low point times in our life. And you know, too much stuff, you know, stuff do grow in the wilderness because we have those scorpions and, and cactus and stuff like that that grows out in the wilderness and, wilderness and uh, out in the wilderness. So stuff do grow in the wilderness. But we got to realize when we in the wilderness, that it might be a growing point for well, it ain't no might be. It, it, it's a growing point for us to, to get uh, the uh, whatever lesson, whatever protection that God trying to give us. And we can't take everything to heart that well. What 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 banks and did banks and did something wrong because uh uh uh, uh something I mean it, some things ain't going right in his life right now. I mean that's why I hate to hear. Pastor Liz Maybridge, people say that because you're going to hit a rough spot at that time of your life. Immediately, some people say, well, he must have failed by the way, so he ain't doing something right. That I, I, Next time, if somebody had an attitude towards you like that, or I know towards him, like when, when every day in your life been a bed of roses, you know that, yeah. that, that, that. That no storm didn't come. Right. Some people think because you say that no storm don't come, and they and them be some of the same. I mean, people that say they say that done say is that phrase. Mm -hmm. What you done did? Huh? Your car done tore. You ain't live right. It's man made. Your car done tore. Amen. That same thing we talk about, too. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And when they talk about him the same way, God talking about those strange around. You know, don't whether they get ready to go back to jail. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have to be careful with that. Oh yeah. We have to be careful what we say and what we what our mouth put on somebody else. That's right. Uh, it should be nothing but praise. Mm. Come on now. And glory. Yeah. Uh, it should be nothing but positive thinking. Yeah. Uh, because when you think of negative, you're not thinking like Christ. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, 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 speak those things into existence. Yeah. Yeah. Because he said, speak those things into existence as if they were. Yeah. I, I had a, something had happened. I forgot what had happened to me. Uh, I guess the Olympic limo was what we call heat under my air conditioning. Heat and cooling system. Yeah, heat and cooling system. Time to go out. Oh, and, you know, my little text phrase when I text. I think Favor is with me. And somebody made the comment, oh, Favor's still with you? Yeah, because <laughs> stuff happened. Don't mean Favor done left. Right. Amen. Right. It didn't mean I didn't do you then. Right. <laughs> and things do get old. Our body get old. I'm with yeah. arthritis and, and, and stuff said in. That means <laughs> I done left God because arthritis done said in. No, my body getting old. <laughs> yeah. Nothing is left. They can't do things, but Jesus, everything else in this world is going to die. Yeah. It's going to fail. It's going to run down. But Jesus. But Jesus. Uh -huh. He is the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, today, yeah. today yeah. and forever. Yeah. So yeah. he's the only thing that's going to last. Amen. Uh -huh. If these bitches, they're going to last. The trees out there, they're, they're going to rot and fall. Amen. Yeah. 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 So we can't say that. We got to look at things that come here to stay. Right. I didn't come to stay here. I'm just a pilgrim, just traveling through this old building, but I didn't come to stay. Right. Amen. I come on my way back home. Because, yeah. see, I don't live here. All right. I don't live here. This is just a temporary place. Yeah. Amen. 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 It's just a temporary place. So we better get out of life at home. Amen. Amen. Got to get it in order. Every time Amen. we have a pop, don't mean that we're going down. That's right. Amen. Sometimes they'll pop in that battle we talked about last week is to help you to come up and be stronger. That's right. Uh, they help you come out of that battle and stand on top of the mountain. Amen. There's someone in the lesson that's talking about, uh, you know, I read this morning that God, oh, uh, uh, God is in the business of glorifying himself. So God, don't, God and sometimes stuff like that, uh, different uh, dilemma happens in our life of God to get the glory for saying nobody did it but God. God, God is going to show me the way. God is going to provide for this. Nobody but God. And see, that's what people got to realize. I don't know. I don't know. It is man. They, that's where they mind just goes. Amen. But, uh, but that, I, uh, they just got to know that. Uh, if God's hand is on you, his hand is on you. And ain't nothing that's about to do about it. If God's hand is off of you, ask Pharaoh. His hand is off of you. Ask Saul. Yes. And when, when God <laughs> takes his hands from him, amen. His hands just off of him. God, God is one of them parents. Amen. God is one of them parents that when he say no, he mean no. Pharaoh <laughs> wouldn't listen, but he sent Moses to get him. That's right. That, that's right. Him and his army. Yeah. And all Moses had to do was hold up the rod. Hold up that rod. And that's all we got to do is hold up the rod. That's right. And let God continue to do what he needs to do for us. And he'll do it. Amen. Amen. Application to realize that no matter how, uh, what's that? Yeah. The, the, the opposition may uh, may appear to us as God covenant people in Christ, we can be confident in the Lord's power to defend us and bring victory on our behalf. Amen. Amen. Don't worry about your enemies. Don't worry about your, the backstabbers. Don't worry about the double-minded people. Because the Bible said a, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Right. And so and that's why I go back. I think I said last Sunday or not too long ago that he already prepared a table for us in prison by our enemies. And so we don't have to, we should worry and should be so far from our mind like Mexico is. And, you know, from, uh, you know, from, from us. And that's how our worry should be for our mind. Because we should know that God, no matter what certain, what we're facing, that we got the victory over the enemy. And the world can't do me no harm. Go ahead. I'm just thinking I might be hitting this a little here, but the message. 
problem. I was thinking about how Moses went down there to uh, deliver God's message that the people could become free. And it was a, a, a setback when it was an instantly happened. So uh, the people went really and got mad at Moses because uh, it didn't happen like they thought. But see, our ways is not God's ways. Our time is not his time. Mm -hmm. So we have to wait on the, on the Lord. And Job said, all the days of my appointed time will I wait on my change. So a lot of times the Lord be working in our favor, but it looks like he's working against us. Mm -hmm. But we got to trust him regardless of the situation, how dark it is. And you know, I was looking at that to realize that no matter how daunting the oppressor may appear to us, God's covenant people in, uh, in Christ, we can be confident uh, in the Lord, uh, in the Lord's power to defend, to defend us and bring us victory on our behalf. Amen. Amen. And, uh, to the Pharaoh's heart, Pharaoh's heart, heart, heart. Hard part, Exodus 7, 22. It, I like that. It says, in confront of Pharaoh at this time, the law of proposed purpose was no longer to, to yield uh, him further opportunity to submit, but to unconditionally visit the first of many great plagues against Egypt. God give you chances. Yes, oh, I said, don't wear, don't, don't wear them out. Amen. Don't wear grace out. Uh, don't wear grace out because that, that's got to be a bad place to be in when you don't wear, when you don't wear grace out with God. Because I'm pretty sure you know, God will give, give us chances after chances after chances. Amen. That's why I, you know, I, I, I often say, you know, don't get where, don't, people shouldn't get, it's sad when people get born again on uh, uh, dying bed salvation. Wait till they die to get saved. Amen. Serve the Lord now. Give Him glory now. For when you do cross over, you get all the rewards possibly that you can get. Get uh, you know you can be welcome to. And, and but some people, you know, they feel like they got forever to live. We don't know what our number is. Go ahead. You know, I was thinking about, about the, the natural thing. You know, some people buy a car and they drive it to a way out. And then some people drive a, buy a car and don't ever get to use it. Yeah. It's <laughs> so it's better to get salvation and use it. Come on, sir. Uh, than to, uh, like you said, get down salvation, uh, down being salvation, and don't even get a chance to see really the goodness of God and how He bless you, how He make ways for you, how, what, he, what He can do for you. Come on, man. I mean, it's just it, and the joy that you can, uh, can get from from the Lord. See, they don't even get to get the uh, benefit like buying an insurance policy and die tomorrow. Hey, you know, I like that. I ain't never, I ain't never uh, seen that point of view, dog. <laughs> That when people got the last minute, never got to feel the real the presence of God, like you said, what God can do for you in your life. It is a great, great testimony when you can get set up and say, you know, I couldn't see my way out of this, but it was nobody but God that got me through this. It was nobody that the old voice said, took my feet out of not water clay. Out of the pottery clay. I don't get that. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Amen. It was nobody but Jesus. It's good, amen, to have a testimony of what God has done for you. Like in the midnight hour, he dried the tears. He rocked you. You know how he took care of you. How he made, man, yes, sir. I mean, and so they just don't know what they miss. They think draining and pouring it, especially the young people. You know, they got, you know, 50 years to live. And they just don't realize and don't understand the good time we have here serving God. Yes, yeah, sometimes we have to cry. Sometimes we'll be in the battle, but we know who's there and walking with us every step of the way. Go ahead, Pastor. Who told you that you had to be here? Uh, amen. Nobody. I know that's right. God didn't tell you. <laughs> you think that you're going to live 50 years, you 
my life we have a good five minutes. That's right. All right. Uh, we born and we die. Somebody born That's dead. Right. Maybe some, some, huh? babies are, some babies are born dead. Born dead. Yep. So we can't, we can't go by that. Oh, I'm young, man. That, I, got that, long, that's a, yeah. I got a long way to go. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? We got more uh, youth dying down than we have yeah. older yeah. people. Yeah, amen. amen. And so they have a mistake. What is it, 70? Yeah. 70, what is it? Three score, three score, ten. Yeah. Three score, ten. Yeah. Three score, ten. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man, I, I saw a little girl and they were coming back and said something about him going to number half. And the man started trying to count. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like counting the grain of sand. That's just like counting the count of stars. How can you ever try to count the stars in the sky? <laughs> you can't do it. You can't do it. Because when you're trying to do it, the mother's going to twinkle up, twinkle, and you're going to see them little twinkles everywhere. Yep. Some of the stars you can see and some you can't see. Because some of them are larger than the other. So you you don't know. You don't never know. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows but God. Yeah. You know, I was just thinking about this young, this young, young lady the other week. Uh, had good intentions on her way to, to work. Young lady. And all of a sudden, a life was taken. So like you said, you don't never know uh, the day or the hour. He said you never know the day or the hour that the Son of Man comes. He's coming. Amen. So he's going to be also ready. Amen. And, and, and just read that, you know, something about the, uh, the great plagues, you know, the, the plagues against Egypt. Yeah. And I just think about how the earth is such like it's just angry, you know, uh, 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 earthquakes, uh, how we didn't have rain for a month, but Texas was flooded, and, you know, just, it just stuff like that, that that we, we might not be getting up the play like what Pharaoh we got, but we might be in a different, you, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and but people don't stop and, and see it. And you know, you, you got our, our leaders uh, in Washington uh, fighting against global warming. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't believe it. Some of them yeah. that ain't no such thing yeah. and all that. And God, I mean, and, and sometimes we, I, I, I believe that we got some power. We have the pharaohs today yeah. taking the high places. Yeah. Amen. That's right. <laughs> you, you know, don't want to believe nothing. Nothing, nothing but the wrong. And it makes you wonder. I mean, have their heart been hard? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Have their heart been hard? Yeah. I mean, they can't be reached because they don't want to believe and know the truth. A uh, Pharaoh didn't want to hear the truth. God, uh, uh, Moses was sent to uh, uh, the Pharaoh, him and Aaron. But he still didn't want to hear the, mm, my, 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 the truth. So uh, my question is, what it takes for you to hear the truth? Mm. And somebody, I guess, thought would be smart against me. Uh, mine didn't, but I took it that did because I was about the only one on Facebook. Was saying that people don't want to hear the truth. Then, then I, then I, I seen somebody had typed. Well, I, I'm tired of hearing people saying, the folks don't want to hear the truth. Maybe they don't want to hear you. I started to type back, well, if they hear you, your church will be running over. <laughs> so we, have to, we, we have to realize that, <laughs> we have to realize that sometimes people just don't want to hear the truth. It was a point in time in my life, I didn't want to hear the truth. Why? Because I was comfortable where I was at. Yeah, right. Amen. Go ahead, dog. You, 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 you can hear the truth. Come on, man.
trying to, to go against the one that's against him. Yeah. And he's doing everything he can to kill his influence. Yeah. And we find people today will do everything they can to, to kill someone in front. But God has already uh, 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 done the work, but the only thing they need to do is fall in line. Come on, sir. But they don't want to fall in line. They'd rather believe a lie than to believe the truth. As my daddy said one time, a man and said this truth and a lie will run along and, and said the truth mm -hmm. would stand on the <laughs> ground and tell the truth, said yep. that a lie would rather climb up in the tree <laughs> than yep. tell a lie. <laughs>
say about him sometimes, I, did, I stopped looking at him a long time ago. Yeah. Because everything he did was saying, I didn't, I didn't yeah, agree with it. Right. But the thing about it is, I'm concerned now not only about John Hagee, but I'm concerned about those souls no. that sit under him. Yeah, amen. Those souls that are sitting under him, that's taking all that in, that they're, they're feeding on this. Yeah. And it's going to make them to be make them to lose their life. That's right. And end up in eternal hell instead of heaven. Yeah, that's right. They were going to church. Mm -hmm. But who? What kind of what were they getting while they were going to church? I know that's right. We got to learn to feed some good stuff. Amen. Yeah. Oh, you got to give the true word. Yeah. And you can't turn this word around. Right. That's right. Huh? You take the eyes and the teeth out and let everything go the way it won't go. Yeah. No, that's not it. Yeah. No. So we got to, we need to be concerned. Not only about the ones that's doing the talking. Yes. But be concerned about the ones that's yielding to them. Yeah. Um, and, and that's yeah. why it, it, it's so important that our church folks, our watch who they follow. I mean, you got, I don't mind calling names because I can back everything up. Paul White and Jim Baker, all those people, they got to watch who they follow. I mean, I, I, I even put the TV, I love the Jimmy Swagger and the music. But I quit listening to Dunny Swagger, but he'll sit there and preach, but he'll call somebody a moron or a uh, 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 jackass and all kind of stuff. I mean, like, wait a minute, you're a man of God. And you and you claim you so right. How do you up there calling folks' names? I ain't read no one in the Bible. The woman at the well, the woman had the issue of blood. Uh, uh, the, 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 the man the with the leprosy. Man with the leprosy. <laughs> Jesus didn't call nobody no name. No. My God, boy, you got right. people now that's leaders and say they uh, clergymen calling folks' names. But you know, I want to say uh, something. Uh, going back to the judge, when my son got killed, and we went to court. The boy's mama, I met her at the hall, in the hallway, and I was on the walk with him. See, I told that lady, I said, come here. I hugged her, and I said, I don't want you to be depressed about this. I said, I want you to look up and look to God. I said, I love you. I don't have any hard feelings against you. And I even asked the judge at the trial to let me hug the young man mm, that awesome. killed my son. Right. The judge said no. Mm. But it wasn't my fault. Yeah. I didn't get to hug him. And he had to go to prison without me hugging him. But his mama felt better. She said, I've been waiting for that for a long time. I've been waiting to hear somebody tell me that it wasn't my fault and they loved me. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, uh, and some of the little movies I've seen, they might be played and things, but they're true. Yeah. Yep. Where uh, this lady had been hating this young man. But then when she got saved, see, that's the difference in it. Yeah. If you're not saved, you're not going to forgive. And you ain't going to have that's the heart right. to do it. Right. But if you get saved, now she went to the jailhouse, the prison, yeah. and sit there and, and explain to him that she did not hate him anymore. Mm. Where others were sitting there waiting on him to die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you can let somebody know that you still got enough love in you that you can forgive. Come on. Huh. And then go be forgiven. Yeah. yeah. Don't you know there's a soul that needs to be saved? Yes, sir. There's a soul that can make heaven if you do it right. Mm. Come on, preacher. If you ask for forgiveness and yeah. you don't, you don't, you know, you mean it with your heart, then you and the other person don't take it. Mm. They don't accept that. Yeah. It's your game. Yeah. Because you made it right with God. I know that's Amen. right. When we make it right with God, I don't care all the devils in hell can't stop. I know yep. that's right. I know but that's right. get the shell cross. And now I really believe in my heart that what took place in that courtroom when that girl was sent to that God for police. So God was glorified. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's your wife in the yep. eye. I what's wrong with being compassionate? Yes, yep. what's wrong with being compassionate? Amen. Right. People got so much hatred now in their hearts. Amen. Towards people. Amen. And black lives matter. Amen. Yeah, black lives matter, but everybody matters, matters to me. I'm black, but God matters to me. That's what I'm I know saying. that's right. Didn't you? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble. I don't know. They already called them guns. Like, God, I get his name. Yeah. Because he said man was way in the hood. And his likeness. Yeah. Okay. That's right. So when you talk to eat wrong to me, Come you're on, not man. talking to me. Right. You're talking to God. I, I, right. I, I, I. Uh -huh. So if you want to you put God down, you go ahead. Go ahead. That was something I wanted to try in him one time, but I couldn't couldn't get it together to try. Yeah. It was a good example. Uh, young man went to, uh, they were going to college, and uh, the 
the, the minister, the teacher, was, had got a picture. And he let him put a picture over the top. He let you take the picture. Well, you have a picture. They have no picture on top. You take it. You draw a picture of somebody that you don't like. Somebody that did you wrong. Yeah. You draw that picture and then take it and put it up there. And you can throw darts at it. Mm -hmm. And all they just wait, everybody was waiting, they turned and throw them dots. Yeah. And hallelujah. But when they took the picture down, he put his time to run out of class, he had to stop it. Took the picture down and he uncovered that picture. It was Jesus. My, 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 my. It was Jesus under there. Yeah. <laughs> we better be careful how we throw stones. Come on, Man. preacher. Don't be trying to break my window. <laughs> hey, you got yeah. some glass windows too. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to do nothing. And people, and, and, and of course, somebody said, well, they don't let, they, they don't got text. Don't say that to me because I'm not a turn, so right back to the text. Because when you, when, when the pastor don't throw stones, and when you have got that throwing rocks high in your hand, you offer a plague on yourself. Yep. Amen. Because Pharaoh didn't want to hear Moses. He offered that plague to come. And, and when God don't, God don't get the glory. So I always forgot to get in my life. Uh, uh, willing to be enforced them. Amen. Uh, uh, through some kind of storm or through some kind of plague. Amen. And so maybe that's why some people can't get their healing. Amen. Because their heart is hard. They don't want to hear Oh, my goodness. They don't want to hear the word of God. They go to church every Sunday saying, that's my pastor. But they ain't hearing the word, what the pastor's saying. And you wonder why you're sick, why you can't make it, why you can't get your breakthrough. Maybe y'all, maybe you're not hearing what the pastor is preaching on. But yeah, you going Oh yeah, you waving hands. Oh yeah, you got the white snap from your nose every now and then. But are you hearing? Are you just in emotion? Amen. Because a lot of times, uh, us, I'm talking about us, we go in church, we in motion. We ain't really feeling God. We just in emotion. The young people, that's why a lot of them want to run to Greenville to get in the motion, not feel the presence of God, but uh, but but just be in the motion. Oh, the music was good. Okay, the music was good, but did you get deliverance? Amen. Amen. Did you get set? Hey! Did you get set free? Amen. Hey, there's something going on. Church. I mean, this is, yeah, I mean, we rock here with the music and, and don't but Amen. And listen, that we get our deliverance. We, we hear a word from God. Mm -hmm. There's something else. You go to church and just say, I felt good and the music was good and we bounced and uh, we did. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But what you happened? Feel that spirit. Come on now. Come on. That's just like you just going to just a, 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 a friendly club when you want to church just to bounce. You know, go ahead. Yeah, I got three minutes of that class, Lord. I did not realize that at, at this time, but deliverance would not come quickly. So y'all, like what but here at Holy Trinity, the new beginning of church, we're gonna start sowing seeds in a basket towards our new church building. And we me, Pastor and Doctor, we let them know when you sow your seeds, amen. You might not see something come up from it quickly, but you got to know that God is behind the scenes working on it. In other words, your deliverance coming. What you praying about your husband, your child, amen. And for the president of righteous brothers, but you got to know it's coming. It's coming. Everything don't happen overnight. This was because God wanted to do more than deliver his people. He also wanted to deliver and deliver a very clear message to a Pharaoh, the Egyptian, that the word, namely, that he alone. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yeah, Lord is worthy. Yeah, that is worthy. So, what? Well, it, it, it seems like it's taking a long time for your breakthrough and your healing. Just hold on. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. I guarantee you. Amen. Amen. That uh, uh, you you will be rewarded in your due season, mm -hmm. in due time. All right. For particular points from Pastor. She's going to get a bigger, I got to finish them by a bigger bell. She's going to be shopping somewhere like, oh, this bell, it's a little bit bigger. I need to get to the bell. <laughs> <laughs> I got one at home. Oh, a, a big one. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go look and see before I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Particular point, God controls your enemies and he prepares you to deal with them. Amen. Exodus 7 and 14. Number two. God, when God sees you, he goes with you and directs your path. Amen. It says when God sees you. Amen. He ain't saying when you go on your own. 
Number three, God actions are never subject to error or defeat. Amen. Knowing that uh, uh, you victorious in every part of your life. Number four, when God moves on your behalf, your enemies can only stand and watch. My, 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 my. Dogs don't only stand and watch. Because they got to stand back and behave when God is working. Amen. Amen. They got to get right away to God. Amen. They can't interfere. Number five, the, uh, defense of God's word causes death and destruction. Can I pronounce that word? Defiance. Yeah. Defiance. 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 I'm sorry. Defiance of God's word causes death and destruction. Amen. Don't defy God's word. Amen. Don't ignore it. Don't, don't black. Don't be a blasphemer. Amen. And know God's word. Uh, number six, man cannot uh, compensate. compensate for anything that God has taken away. Amen. God took it away, but it's gone. Amen. Thank you for joining the Sunday School lesson here on the Trinity. While well, very fine, Pastor Thompson is away. Bridges, I guess, tuned in by another hour and a half or so. And when she was alive, and she would do her dynamic preaching from the Bible. Amen. Straight from the Bible. Amen. Not tiptoeing around, but preach the word from the Bible. Amen. And teach. Amen. Hope we see you back here soon.